Taurus welcome to my channel today I'm going to do your love reading for July please remember this is a general reading timing is flexible and fluid uh, if you'd like to check out your other signs uh, there is a uh, link in the description box uh, for you this will be for your Sun your moon your rising and your Venus signs um, the last thing that I have for you, I am doing a giveaway at the end of the month. I'm giving away two personal readings to enter. You just need to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you. You just need to like and comment. And I want to say thank you for all of your likes, shares, comments. Um, I appreciate them. I do read all of your comments. And I just want to say thank you for all your support um, and love and beautiful comments. So... Good luck to you um, on the giveaway, and let's get started here. So thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Taurus is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Taurus the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray this helps Taurus, um, gives them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And the, I, uh, what am I trying to say here? And let there only be love and light here. Amen. Let's get one more card for Taurus. I got a little tongue tied there. And there we go. All right. We got to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Let's see what your other cards here. All right. Okay. Interesting here. So we'll start with these first two cards. We have um, very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Release your ex, okay? So some of you may be needing to release an ex. Um, it can also just be um, that you need to clear your energy. You may still, um, you know, have things uh, of the ex, okay? Um, you know, this can be your uh, possessions that you have of the ex or things that the ex gave you or this just could be um your energy okay uh that you still haven't let go of the energy here with the ex okay so some of you may be trying to decide whether to let go of an ex here or you just may, may need to just release that energy now the interesting thing here is the next card that you have is engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment here okay so I feel here that somebody, uh, like I said, you had expressed your love. Somebody here wants a commitment here. Somebody's wanting to take things to the next level. And it may also be that somebody needs to release an X here for this to happen. Now remember, roles can always be reversed here. Um, so take the messages how they resonate with you. So I feel there's somebody here in the situation who needs to uh, make a decision to release an ax or to release um, the thinking or energy of an ax so that things can move uh, to the next level here with commitment. All right, we're going to pull some of these cards from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Get some more uh, messages and then we're going to clarify them with the traditional tarot. All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have uh, for Taurus for July love? What messages do you have for Taurus? Okay, we have emotional withdrawal. Ooh, deception and envy. This card has been coming out in all the readings doesn't necessarily have to be bad but we'll see what comes out with it uh, suffering and silence okay if you have libra in your chart okay you might want to watch that uh reading as well so we're getting some of the same uh messages here prosperity begins and fulfillment of wishes okay so that's good possible outcome here we have fulfillment of wishes okay i'm feeling better about your reading taurus and look here we have the universe okay universe may be stepping in here all right to get things moving so give me a moment 
Okay, in your current energy here, we have emotional withdrawal here. So I feel here, um, you and your person, you could be at a distance right now, or there may not be no, there may not be communication, or your person may be having a hard time expressing how they feel. As I said, um, energies can be reversed, so this could be you as well. But definitely feel here there is a little bit of a distance. Um, I feel here somebody's trying to get some clarity and trying to really balance out their emotions, trying to figure out how they feel. Um, and also trying to make some decisions here is what I'm getting. Now the challenge that you have is deception and envy. I feel the challenge here is this person communicating how they feel to you, okay? Um, or this could be you, like I said. Somebody here is, is needing to decide very soon. Um, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I feel here somebody's really trying to decide what they want. And uh, for some of you, this is going to be about releasing an ex. So somebody's having to make a decision here. And somebody too may not be truthful in the situation. So you could be dealing with somebody who um, is still dealing with an ex. Okay, that can be also the message here. And so if your person is not communicating how they feel about you, it could be that they're not being honest with you about this X energy here is what I'm getting. But, you know, we'll clarify the cards to see what happens. Now, the focus of the reading, we have uh, suffering and silence. Okay, so you may be feeling like you've overcome a lot of obst obstacles. Uh, you may be going through some, some hurt uh, with this situation. Like I said, you know, there could be another, a third party or an ex situation going on here. And, but I want to tell you that the focus here is not that you're suffering. Okay. The focus here is that look at, you're at the top of the mountain. You've, the worst is over. You've climbed this mountain. You've gotten through the obstacles and look, there's sunshine here in the distance. Okay. There's something to look forward to here. This is uh, representing happiness, peace, joy. Okay. So I feel here, uh, spirit is wanting to you to know that there is happiness coming because the um, future guidance here is look at this prosperity begins so this does tell me that um, in the near future here there is going to be a coming together you um, your tree is going to bear fruit here uh, there is going to be fruitfulness here Okay, prosperity begins. I do feel here that the universe is intervening. And look here, you also have balance, which this is like the magician here. Okay, so I feel here you're manifesting um, this situation. And the universe is definitely um, helping you here because the possible outcome you have here is fulfillment of wishes. So if there's been something you've been hoping for, wishing for in this situation, um, I feel the universe, because um, this is like Ace of Cups uh, energy here, I feel like the universe is stepping in, okay, and they are uh, going to give you a full cup here. You are going to feel good here. That's your outcome. So it may not feel that way right now, but I feel like that's changing. Let's uh, get some clarity cards here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is emotional withdrawal here, please? Why is emotional withdrawal here? Okay, we have the six of cups here. Okay. So this person definitely um, has feelings for you. This person definitely knows that you are their soulmate here. Uh, for a lot of you, I do feel like this is somebody uh, that you do know or somebody from your past. This is definitely soulmate energy here. Okay, so this person may not be communicating uh, their feelings to you, but they definitely see you as their soulmate. 
Why is deception and envy here, please? Why is deception and envy here, please? Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel the challenges here. I feel like this person um, has made you feel that um, there is a future with the two of you, that they are, um, you know, offering something stable and, and they want to be passionate with you. But I don't feel like they've been completely honest about something. Either it's that they're not honest about their feelings, they're not being um, their authentic self, or they're not being honest about an X energy here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, or an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay? Could be another Taurus. I know that's your energy. So let's move here. Why is suffering in silence here, please? Why is suffering in silence here, please? Okay, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, so this is your focus here. So I feel like they're saying here, um, Spirit saying here, you know, there is um, happiness. There is happiness on the horizon here for you. Um, you may be on a break or you may be taking some time to really think about things, gain clarity. Um, you may be feeling exhausted, okay? Because there is something here I feel um, that was hurtful to you. Um, but just know that they are telling you there is peace and happiness, um, you know, in the future here, okay? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. And let's go here to why is prosperity begins here, please? Why is prosperity begins here? Okay, we have the Hermit card. And we have the Queen of Wands. So like I said, I do see here uh, things being uh, fruitful, coming together as a partnership. Okay, this is future spirit guidance here. So I feel here um, that you're being guided here to really uh, listen to your intuition here. Let your uh, intuition guide you in the decisions that you make uh, in this connection here. And let um, and the decisions and the action that you take. So you could be, this is also fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Virgo as well. Okay. So I feel like things are coming together here, but they want you, a spirit wants you to use your intuition, okay? Before taking any action in this situation, use your intuition here. I also want to say here, um, for some of you, your intuition I'm getting to could be telling you that there could be um, a third party person here, okay? Queen of Wands can be a single person or you know as a, a a person uh, that's involved here all right so I do feel here your intuition may be telling you that as well is what spirit is saying okay let's go to fulfillment of wishes here please why is fulfillment of wishes here please okay so beautiful. Like I said, I do feel like things are going to come together for you. I do feel here that your cup is going to be full. There may be some challenges along the way, or you may feel like you've had to wait a long time, feeling a little beat up or exhausted here, but you do have the Ten of Pentacles here. So I feel like with patience, you're going to get there. You're going to get to um, this stable future here um, with the person that you want to be with. Um, it does show me that it's going to be abundant and emotionally fulfilling here for you. Um, even though you're going through these challenges. Again, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have, uh, this is your energy here, Taurus. All right. Bottom of the deck, look at that. We have King of Cups. This tells me that this person is going to come forward and express how they feel to you. All right, so it will be your decision and your intuition on how you want to respond to this person um, if you're wanting um, to take things to the next level here. All right, Taurus, I hope you gained some clarity from this reading. Again, um, 
If you'd like to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.